From our studio here in Salisbury, the city of Lewiston, Maine is more than 550 miles away. Now, despite that distance, we and the rest of this peninsula mourn the losses in last week's mass shooting. The Blood Bank of Delmarva posted this to their Facebook page saying that they have provided blood to the area before and are ready to again. And they have a boosted supply, especially thanks to a big event last week. That's right, Jimmy. This is an event that I've been preparing for for months and one that became especially meaningful after the devastation that happened in what you know is my home state. Now, this past Thursday, I got boxed in at the blood bank of Delmarva's Salisbury Donor Center until 100 donors came through the doors at any of their locations or donated via mobile drives. We had an incredible day and I would love to show you those memories. The sun's out, the sky is blue, and it is a beautiful day to donate blood here at the Blood Bank of Delmarva. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be inside this box truck at the Salisbury Donor Center until 100 people come through the doors at any of their locations or by using their mobile blood drive. I'm excited to see the donors. I'm excited to hang out, and I'm excited. I mean, look at this. Look at this space. This looks, this looks pretty nice. So. I'm going to head on in and uh, I'm going to check in with you later in the show, let you know how long I'm in here because who knows? Hopefully the people come through, but I'm ready. I'm ready to hang out in here. Isn't it great? All right. Going to be a great day. Woo! I'm a Lifesaver member. I donate every eight weeks. I started doing it in high school. I'm O positive. I know it's one of the ones that's needed, so I keep coming in. I normally give every chance I can, so it's time to, to, to donate. All right, ready for our first update of the day. Drum roll, please. We have 15. I had an appointment on Monday, and then I saw that they were doing a special event with Katie today, so I transferred my appointment from Monday to Thursday to make sure that I could help with her 100. I got started doing this thanks to Jimmy Hoppe, because Jimmy and I worked together at a radio station 20 some years ago, and his wife coaxed me into giving blood for the very first time. I was scared to death of needles in those days. Did it, it was painless. I've been doing it ever since. Thank you, Jimmy Hoppe's wife. You know, it's, it only takes a few minutes to uh, do this and you know, you save a life. So it's very uh, valuable to the community. All right, time for our next update. All right. Right about there, right here. That's good. Right at the That's right. We are at 32. It's a really wonderful thing that they're doing. I don't know who the young lady is in the box, but I'm mega impressed. I thought it was cool. Something fun. I saw the mascot outside waving down the car, just saying hi. So I was like, well, this is fun. But yeah, I was already scheduled to come in today. I'm a retired physician and I know how much uh, blood is needed in the hospital. And um, when I had patients in the hospital that were, that had to get blood, um, I often wondered, you know, where it came from. And then I started to donate and figured it, that it was a Good idea to do that around here. Okay, here we are. It is 1.15 in the afternoon and we have reached 75! We were watching the WBOC News at Noon and saw Katie in the truck and the need for blood donations. So my husband and I decided that we make the trip in from Ocean City to donate. Just to be able to help out, give back, um, something small that doesn't take much time and I when I get the email saying I got, like, um, my blood went somewhere to help certain kids, I'm like, oh, it makes me happy. So it's just something to give back to. Time now for my two o'clock update. We have reached 85. Every 
one's excited for 85, only 15 more. I'm gonna dance. <laughs> I don't know, Jeff. I've been in this box all day, you know? You know, I have, I have never gotten a snack at the canteen. Just a Pepsi. It's a trim figure thing. <laughs> Nutter butter is my favorite. Oatmeal raised in an ginger ale every time. And I don't ever get it anywhere else. I just get it here. I don't know why. <laughs> Lorna Dunes. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be, to be the go one that I like. I like the um, Fig Newtons when they have them. But uh, I don't know, I may have to stop donating because I haven't seen the Fig Newtons in the last couple of times. <laughs> no, or maybe bring my own. <laughs> I'll BYO when it comes to the snacks here. I have our latest update. Drum roll. 90! 90! 90! Oh! oh. It's a worthy cause. It's just a little bit of time and it can make such a difference in people's lives. I do think they need to, to do it one time. I mean, the worst thing is just the, the one prick once they get the blood started. I mean, after that, it's just kind of easy and painless for me. But the effort is well worth it. And, and you go out being satisfied that you're knowing that you're helping save somebody else's life. Last time we checked in, Number was at 90. Karen, what are we at now? I am happy to report that we are at 120 donors. Oh, yay! 120! What? I guess we gotta go off the thing, you know? We gotta play more than that. I know I gotta. Yay. Where are my balloons? Oh no! I don't even know where the two is. Oh boy. Oh, where's the two? That's a two. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna make this happen. Okay. <laughs> 120! Nope. They, 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 they. Hey! Does that mean? Does that mean? She's getting off. She's front three. I'm out of the box! Yeah! Woo! Thank you, everybody. And thank you guys so much for hanging out, coming along. We're gonna have more on this actually also on tomorrow's show, so stay tuned for that. For now though, if I'm out of the, this box, the first thing I gotta do is go donate some blood. See you guys. And now, though 120 was the number when I got out of the box, we ended up getting a total of 242 people throughout the day. Thank you so much to everyone who participated. And I gotta tell you, Jimmy, we had a blast with all the folks who participated and some recognizable faces. Yeah. Joe Edwards used to be on the radio here right, with Draper right. Media. Yeah. He, he stopped on by. A lot of other folks who just came by, they, they loved to watch the show. They were having, it was it was an amazing day. I heard that Keith Kohler from uh, NASA Wops. He was there too. Yeah, he walked in and I was like, Keith! And he got all excited. He definitely had some type of, I know, you know, I always think of him, he's, you know, NASA Wallops, right, Rockets. Right. He definitely had some t-shirt on that was, you know, rocket things. Some Something, yeah. So that was awesome, yeah. Very cool. And, and of course, they'll still take donations. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Stop by. Yeah. You can give them a call. One eight 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 blood eight. Is that right? Something. I believe right. so. Yes. You'll find. It. <laughs> Go ahead and make an appointment. And stop in. They'll take walk-ins as well.